We all know someone trashy out there, right? According to Urban Dictionary, a trashy person is someone that lacks class and doesn't really contribute to society. They just sit there decomposing over long periods of time, releasing various chemicals into the air like a bag of trash floating in the ocean. But we might have to change our definition of this type of person based on what some countries have decided to do with trash. It's like Sweden and France have been burning their trash for a number of years now. And like actual trash and garbage produced by humans, not the anthropomorphized version of trash. This is a way to reduce the use of coal and decrease the amount of things that just sit and decompose in a landfill, much like the dreams of so many trashy people. These waste to energy plants burn this trash to produce heat to produce super pressurized steam to spin turbines that store energy into a generator that's connected to the electric grid. Now, this is not as powerful as coal. It's about one third as powerful as coal, but it also produces way less problematic emissions as a byproduct. Goran Skogland, a representative of one of Sweden's energy companies, estimates that burned trash has about a third the energy pound for pound as burned fossil fuels. Burning that trash means they save space in landfills, don't need to import fossil fuels, and as an added bonus, they cut down on greenhouse so, gas. What are they burning? It's kitchen refuse, bio waste, and commercial garbage. So in Sweden, they're not putting sewage or industrial waste into these machines because they don't want their country to smell like the plague. Europe is pretty sensitive about the plague. In fact, this method of generating energy is so that the earth doesn't have to release another plague to try to end all of us. It's kind of like they're learning from their history. One of the byproducts of burning anything is carbon dioxide. The only exception to this rule is burning time, like trashy people do. When you burn time, the only byproducts are resentment and rage-filled nostalgia. And yes, burning trash will produce CO2, but this is CO2 that's a part of the current carbon cycle. It's like us breathing out carbon dioxide. That's supposed to be there. If all CO2 was a problem, you'd see climate activists against exhaling, which is counterproductive to life. The CO2 produced by fossil fuels is not part of this current carbon cycle. It's from a million years ago. That's why the Earth buried it. All right. Stop right there because I know exactly what you all just yelled at your computer screens. Julian, burning anything is going to create CO2. And yeah, you're right. But like a Swedish police drama, it's all very nuanced. On the face of it, burning garbage actually looks less favorable than coal or natural gas in terms of CO2 production. According to the EPA, flaming trash creates 2,988 pounds of CO2 per megawatt hour. For the same power, coal makes 2,249 pounds of CO2 and natural gas makes 1,135 pounds. That doesn't sound good until you consider that a lot of the CO2 released by burning trash is from stuff that was part of the Earth's carbon cycle. It's carbon that was in the air not too long ago and would be returning there again, whereas the carbon released from burning fossil fuels was out of the carbon cycle for millions of years, sequestered away deep underground. So the EPA considers the CO2 impact of burning waste to be about a third as bad as- It's like the Earth's savings account of carbon. And we're like the shitty kid that doesn't really know what to do with their life. So they just keep switching majors all the time and burn through all of that savings. I mean, the Earth had dreams and it was to have a species in charge of the planet that would sustain it and not recklessly beat the shit out of itself. The piles of plastic in the ocean are the equivalent of piles of laundry everywhere, but it would be like if the laundry choked out the family dog and all of the neighborhood pets. Another byproduct of anything burned is ash. A byproduct of this process is ash. Every year, 80,000 tons of ash from this plant is mixed with concrete used to pave roads and sidewalks all over Paris. This ash contains heavy metals like cadmium, aluminum, iron, 
maiden and Judas Priest. But France uses ash to mix into cement and pave roads with it. And it's like that classic old Aussie song. Reduce, reuse, recycle! It is one of his less popular songs, but it's in the deep cuts of the Black Sabbath collection. You really gotta dig around to look in there for it, but it's there. The biggest issue is flue gases, which are the big puffs of smoke that are pumped out of the smokestacks that cause major issues within the environment. They produce dioxins, which can be poisonous to, um, well, life, life, just all of life. But that's why you see large smokestacks on these facilities, right? They're fixed with filters and they're cleaned regularly to maintain regulated standards. Flu gases are also burned at 850 degrees Celsius. Currently, Sweden is at 50% of the accepted emissions, so they're doing pretty okay. All incineration of waste must be done in a proper manner. We are at half of the levels that are actually permitted, so we are far below the emission levels that the authorities has demanded from 